Hey everybody, Adam here with Hometown Acres. Welcome back. The weather finally broke and the ground's dry enough we can start getting some posts in the ground. So the garage is going up today. Before we get started, a lot of people in the last video were asking what were we doing about utilities because the garage is going where our electric meter is and where our gas meter is. Well, we are relocating those lines. As you can see, the excavator is coming in handy already. We ended up going out and getting a 12 inch ditching bucket for it. And we've got a new line run here. Uh, the gas company should be here any minute. Because we are building over top of the old gas line, they're actually gonna dig the gas line up here, cap it, and then they can't hook up to the new meter until the garage is up. They need a permanent wall to attach the new meter to. So we're gonna be about two days without gas. We'll see how quickly these guys can get this building up and we can get the new gas line hooked back up. Here's where the gas used to come into the house through the old meter, and then we plumbed a new gas line into the side of the house here that's gonna run directly underground to the new meter that's gonna be mounted on the front left side of the new garage.
So I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but normally the builder puts up all of their posts and all of their walls at the same time. The reason they did this wall first was because we were waiting for the gas company to get out here and shut that line off because it ran all the way up here to the corner of the house and that's right in line with where they're going to need to put that 18 inch auger to set the post here. So we need to shut that gas line off, kill the gas line, that way we can get that auger in the ground and get these posts up. Now that the line is crimped, go ahead and start getting this wall up. But that's gonna be a wrap on day one, guys. Here's a look at what all they got done with just three guys and less than eight hours. But I am super impressed with this builder, Koblenz Builders. I'll put a link to their Facebook page down below, but this group of guys, they're young. I think they're all younger than me and I'm 30. They show up on time, they work fast, and they do a great job. You can see here, we made it a priority to get all of our mounting plates for our utilities here, so that now we'll only be without gas for one day instead of two. And I just overall like the general building style that they use. This building is going to be a lot more sturdy and structurally sound than uh, my current garage. And how they finish their walls, everything is all ready to go. It's all flush and ready for insulation. You can see here in my old garage that all those 2x4s and 2x6s, they just strap on the outside of the building. So if I wanted to finish the interior of that building flush with the posts, I'd have to frame out the entire interior of the garage. But yeah, this should start to give you a feel of what the garage is gonna look like. Right where I'm standing now is gonna be the wall between the garage and the mudroom. That's gonna be the front porch. And then as I swing around to the back here, this is gonna be the back porch overlooking the pond. And in between the two porches is gonna be the mudroom. Here's a quick look at what it'll look like coming into the new front porch of the house. So you'll be walking down the sidewalk as we always did. You can see the old back door and now instead we'll be coming into the front porch and then there will be a front door going into the mudroom and there you can see Anderson in the window and he is demonstrating for us the new entrance to the house. So we're gonna take this window out and we're just gonna have an archway going right into the house there. But yeah guys, like I said, that's a wrap on day one. In the last video, we had a lot of people asking us who our builder was, so now you know it's Koblenz Builders. If anybody lives in the Western PA or Eastern Ohio or Southwestern New York area, so far, you know, I can't speak for what the finished product's gonna look like, but right now I highly recommend their work. If you're interested, give them a call. Like I said, I'll leave a link to their Facebook page down below. If you guys enjoyed this one, give me a big thumbs up, click that subscribe button. We'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.